hungry? Thirsty? The refreshment stand is open with everything to satisfy your taste buds. Here's the menu, the hottest, freshest, crunchiest popcorn. Each kernel popped to its fullest with that real movie time taste. Cold drinks, you'll find your favorite ice cold, tasty, and thirst quenching. And hot dogs, hamburgers, and candy too. Now a short intermission, so you'll have time to make your selection before the show begins. Yes, there's an air about hot coffee that's hard to resist. Full-bodied, refreshing hot coffee makes any time a pleasant interlude. Won't you have some now? Isn't the chicken lucky <coughs> that eggs are the shape they are? Not square. <coughs> Not rectangular, but perfectly egg-shaped. And aren't you lucky, too, that the eggs you buy from Kroger's are perfectly egg-shaped and as fresh as the hen can make them. Cackling fresh eggs from Kroger, gathered fresh and cooled on the spot, then whisked away in a real cool truck for grading and dating by a government inspector. Every egg graded, every carton dated in a cool, cool grading room. From the hen to the Kroger dairy case, they're kept cool all the way, so they're grade A all the way. Guaranteed to ride high in the skillet. Mm, what a hamburger. <laughs> Guaranteed cackling fresh. Who but Kroger sells cackling fresh eggs? Uh, nobody. Wouldn't some hot buttered popcorn hit the spot right now? Extra fluffy, extra big kernels of it pop to perfection. Then drenched with the golden goodness of pure sweet creamery butter. Can't you just taste it? We heap the container extra high, but <laughs> you better buy two more for the rest of the family. Piping hot golden buttered popcorn at the refreshment center right now. Music to the ears of the hungry. The sizzle of a mouth-watering hamburger. Fresh, lean beef, done to a golden brown. Couched in a soft bun and garnished to taste. Man, that's hunger heaven. And you'll feel like you're heaven sent when you get one at our refreshment stand. How did they get in these crazy positions? Playing funny bones. The game for people who love to laugh. Okay, back where you started. The shin bone connected to the knee bone. The ear bone connected to the shoulder bone. The hip bone connected to the hand bone. The head bone connected to the head bone. The shin bone connected to the knee bone. The head bone connected to the head bone. The hip bone connected to the hand bone. The ear bone connected to the shoulder bone. The shin bone connected to the knee bone. The when you pick up a funny bone card, well... <laughs> You'll just have to get Funny Bone, the game for people who love to laugh by the makers of Monopoly. Funny Bones is a Parker game. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last-minute treat. Hey, I was a little slow because I was trying to get my... Oh, no, it's going to be too loud. I was trying to get my jazz up in time. I forgot. Hey, everybody. Who's ready to solve some mysteries? Where did the bugs go? Can we find more bugs? What was the mystery? There are dogs. There's dogs involved. Uh, it's still Halloween. These are, uh, unfortunately, since Ripper was delayed, these are my, my closest to the Halloween theme streams I'm going to get uh, on time. So, uh, of course, I'm still in costume. I assumed everyone else would be in costume. I just assumed everyone was wearing one right now. The internet is not fixed. The internet is partially fixed. Okay, long story short, my download speed is crap but my upload speed is fine uh, the modem ended up getting over here uh so i'm not on wi-fi we'll see if that makes a difference uh i did vote in costume that's why the sticker's here i voted in co on co in costume i've been doing everything in costume since last you saw me what a hamburger McKinnug, thanks for the prime sub. Ray Spark, thank you for the two months. Was checking Twitch to see uh, if was checking Twitch if you were streaming, and then you went live. It was meant to be. I miss mail-in ballots. I miss them already. Mm, what a hamburger! Yes, showering in the costume. What's so hard to understand? You just do everything in the costume until you're done using it. Everything. On Satin Wings, thank you for the Prime Sub. Vienna 7 UK, thank you for the six months. Scarlet Harlot, thank you for the nine months. Lucioro, Lucioro. That's not right. Luce, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, the Violent, the Violent Lolita, thank you for gifting that sub to actually Azriel. Wamber, thank you for the eight months. I hope. Your home is no longer overrun with internet men. Three people were in here trying to fix my internet. Three. One of them showed up. He was here for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And he said, I'm going to call my soup, which I assume meant supervisor. Uh, he didn't elaborate. He said, I'm going to call my soup. So when someone else shows up, you'll know. You'll know who they are. So another guy came over. And then, unannounced, a third Spectrum person is over. My office just smelled like dude when they were done. I had to Febreze it. <laughs> My bucket. Thank you for the two months. Plop. Max Richard, thank you for the 17 months. Hi, Ian. Been a while. Glad to catch a stream again. Happy to see you, man. Ms. Wallard, thanks so much for the 13 months. Brewster, thank you for the 11 months. Megan Marie, 54, thank you for the prime sub. Mr. Frosty, 007, thank you for the five months. They gave me an upgrade at first. They actually went through three or four modems to fix it. They kept bringing in new modems and new routers and saying, well, this one will fix it. This is the one. Uh, and then I ended up with the old modem that I had before. And some router I've never seen before. I don't know. I don't know. Seppuku Tai. Seppu Cutie. Jeez. Thank you for the five months. What is it? Hey, why is butter cup? Okay, so the problem initially was that I didn't... It was a it was a bummer. I don't know if I told you guys about my uh, 
my uh when the when the breaker went out and I couldn't what get the I breaker ever. to come back on, so I called an electrician and he comes over and flips it on and he's like, "Okay, you're fixed." He literally didn't do anything. He just flipped it on. Well, it turned out it was almost that kind of situation with the cable guys because this house is like wired. It's got like a mainframe, so I had to like move a bunch of cables to move the modem in here. And uh, so I thought I fucked everything up. Mm, Turns heard. out I wired it correctly. I just hadn't tightened the connections enough. And so I was like, I can't believe I just brought you out here to tighten some connections. Like I almost got there. I got so close. But then slowly but surely he started uncovering more problems. And he they think it's like the main line to my neighborhood. They think the whole neighborhood might be affected and they just don't know. So it's been a... Uh, it's been a journey. Oh, I didn't read. Wait, did I read a different message from someone else? Seppu Cutie, did I not just? I'm very confused. I'm officially confused. Seppu Cutie, thank you for the five months. So happy to finally make one of your streams. Also, uh, I'm so glad you liked the artwork from your birthday present. Thank you so much. P.O. Box is open. It's open. All I have to do is type out my guidelines and and plop it down in the info, by the way. I toasty ghosty I. Thank you for the prime sub. Some ploops. Thank you for the three months. 9.99 out of 10 for your newest vid. Plops is one letter away from a truly excellent name, but I still love your shit, so GG, you great. Thanks so much, uh, some plops. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, some plops. Oh, I don't know. Is that just your name now? Is that just... Thanks, ploops. I appreciate it. 2H Fan Club, thank you for the 14 months. By showering in the costume, do you mean you just licked yourself for a good amount of time? Um, no. Nope. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Wolf Gamer Vlad, thanks for the prime sub. Curly Boy, thank you for the $10. I just came back from an interview and it didn't go well. Take my money so I feel better. I'm sure it went better than you think right my interview went terrible and i still got the job i only i've only had one major job interview and i landed it it went horribly no okay well i trust you uh it'll be fine though there there are more job interviews maxi b thanks for the prime sub x -x -x, red link 88 x -x -x, thank you for the prime sub cat Miley, Cat Millie, Cat Millie, thank you for the 500 bits. And Dirty Phil Collins, thank you for the two months. Who's ready? Oh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Who's ready? Mm, what a hamburger. Why is that coming out of... If it's coming out of my... Hold on. If it's coming out of my computer speakers, that means you can't hear it. But why... <laughs> Why would it be doing that? Why? Why would it be doing that? It wasn't doing that before. Mm, what a hamburger. Okay, better. Well, okay. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Okay, I gotta rearrange all my stuff again now. Okay. All right. All right. Stabler Cake, thanks for gifting that sub to Kerberos32. Is it too loud? Let me load. The title might just be loud. Stark and Stag, thanks for the two months. And Ewat Sonia, thanks so much for the 29 months. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's re... 
Oh, we need wow. to like reconnect with what we were doing. We had, we collected all the bugs. The bugs are done. We exchanged the bugs to the lady running the store, the junk store that's stealing stuff from the lake. We exchanged those for some camo so we could go take pictures of birds. We took all the pictures of birds, but when we were taking the last picture, we saw it was it landed on the roof of the house that we're staying in, and we saw a speaker. So there's some weird speaker on the roof. Then we got hit unconscious, woke up in a uh, in a burning shed, died, reincarnated back into the burning shed, escaped that time. And then I think that's it. I think that's where we stopped. Did I miss anything? Did I miss any important... Uh, I think this is the day after we... Yeah, because we just got off the phone with our friends saying, I was in a burning building and I woke up in a burning building, but I don't think I... It was attempted murder, or something. It did take us three hours to find bugs. Hey, a big thank you, and congratulations to anyone, any VOD watcher, who stuck with me through the whole, uh, bugs. When, it's, when you're watching live, you're trapped. You're trapped with me, but VOD watchers could skip it if they wanted. <laughs> yum, yum. I did get mad. I got, I got frustrated. I will, not, I will not deny that I got very frustrated by the bugs. It might have been easier if I wasn't so blinded with frustration, but... I was very upset. Oh yeah, we put Probably the fire not out. not safe to go in there. We put the fire out with the fire. We put the fire out with a, a single bucket of water. We saved the forest. We fell asleep during the bug. I wish I could have fallen asleep during the bug fiasco. Okay, we need to go talk to the park ranger and be like, someone tried to murder me. The bugs are just not... Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The bugs are just not like... It's not interesting. It's not Nancy Drew and the bug hunt in the forest. That's not the game I'm playing. You're back. Though I would, if it was an official game, I would have to give it a try. Sorry to bother you again, but did those results from the water test come in yet? Oh, there's something here for you from the State Department of Health. Okay, we got our water test back. The park oh manager gosh, gave me a not fine. Not only is the water bad, but it seems like the well may have been contaminated deliberately. Wait. The amount in your sample far exceeded standard... Oh, I guess I should just read it. Do not drink or use the water from your well. Initial tests found high levels of arsenic in the sample you sent us. While it's not unusual to find trace amounts of arsenic in wells in your, in your area, the amount in your sample far exceeded the safety limits. Therefore, the water in your well is unsafe for any purpose. Further tests have been requested. They will take two weeks to complete. You will be informed as to what, if anything, they uncover. I wouldn't go jumping to conclusions without proof, Ms. Drew. I'm sure there's a far less melodramatic explanation. This guy did it. Thanks for all your help. You did Not it. Not a problem. You're back. So Thanks we can't tell him help. that I was almost murdered? Problem. That's not a... That's not a thing that I can do. Can I tell the dog? No, 
He doesn't care. Oh, oh my God. It's okay. It's a brand new, that's how I'm gonna, it's a brand new day. I've never heard this song before. He gave you a ticket? I don't remember that, actually. Did he give me a ticket at my house? At, at the shed? With, what happened when in that interaction? What was his, like... Did he care? Or was he just like, here's a ticket. He gave me a ticket for the fire. He gave me a ticket for dying. Nance said she got a ticket at the shed. Oh, they mentioned it during the phone call. Okay, okay, that's why I don't remember it. How you holding up? Guess I'll see you later. Yo la hee hoo. Oh. So what? Wait, who was I getting the water oh, tested for? Wow. Oh, it was for the girl whose house it was. I need to go call her. I need to give her a call. How are you guys doing today? I got a lot of chores done today. I got my car inspected. I got my car registered. Got my new license plates. Fueled up my car. Now that I think about it, it was a lot of car-centric things. Checked my P.O. box. My test package got arrived safely. And I voted. Pretty good, pretty busy day. Yesterday was a busy day too. I've been going out and getting stuff done. Okay, Sally, her name's Sally, one, two, one, five, 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 three, did I click it? Three, eight, five. Yes, all in the cat costume, yes. Hello? Hey Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? I'm afraid I have some bad news. I had your well water mm, tested, and hamburger. according to the health department, it contains a very high level of arsenic. Arsenic? Somebody poisoned my well? The health department can't say for sure yet, but if that is the case, do you have any idea who would do a thing like that? No, and it doesn't matter. I love that house, and I am going to live in it. If that well's bad, I'll just dig another one. At least, I will when I know for sure why bad things keep happening there. You are going to figure that out, right, Nancy? You bet I am. I knew I could count on you. Move. Talk to you later. Thanks Move. Again, Nancy. Move somewhere else. You don't need to live here. Someone's... If someone is... is <laughs> if someone is poisoning the water hole, maybe you move. Oh, I can use my keyboard to dial? That's nice. Also, uh, uh, thanks to whoever, I didn't see the, u well, I forgot the username. Um, someone mentioned that they, they got here from the, u I used the community tab for the first time to announce the stream. So I'm glad someone got here because of it. Okay, so... Uh... Mm, what a hamburger. So... I guess I want to talk to Birdman? It was Lulu. If you... If you... Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Some good, some good music, some good music. Hello there, I owe you an apology. 
After you came up here looking for those red tails, I gave my map a closer look and realized it was more than 50 years old. The reason you can't find them is probably because their favorite nesting tree is gone. Finding that hawk's gonna be harder than I thought, so why don't you just give me back my camera and I'll take it from here. It didn't get burned up in that fire or anything, did it? Yes, it did. You can't have it. Uh... Uh, let's go for the sass. You'll be happy to know that I did get a picture of a red-tailed hawk. Bitch. So here's your camera back. I got all the birds. Thank you, Nancy. Nice work. You're a credit to your generation. He did it. Where did those gas cans come from? And he's got I gas ran out cans. Of gas. So much for being prepared, huh? Well, that's all I wanted to tell you. I'm sure you've got places to go, things to see, people to pester. See you in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like his goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do think everyone did it. And you know what? I'm going to be right. It's everybody. Is there an Nancy Drew? Don't tell me if there is, because you don't want to spoil it. I'm speaking to myself. Aloud to hundreds of people. Is there an Nancy Drew game where everybody did it? What a hamburger. Because if not, they should consider that, because that would be a fun twist. Who did it? Who did it? It was fucking everybody. Even Nance was involved. You just didn't know. How do I get back to the cabin? Let me... Let... Okay. 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 So, mm, what a hamburger! Can I steal the gas during the day? There's a Scooby Doo movie where everyone did it. I think that's a good. Uh, I think that's a good. Uh, you, it can't be a standalone thing, but a good twist for especially something like Scooby Doo. There has to be if if. If you're running into that many mysteries, one of them has to be everybody did it. I want those cans. Oh, he took them. Well, I really don't know what to do other than just walk around and talk to the three people that I know? Maybe, maybe call again? The cicada sounds are fun. It's definitely, it was a little, not strange, but it's something you kind of don't think about until you get back. When I moved back here and started hearing cicadas again, I was like, oh yeah. How you holding up? Guess I'll see you later. Keep on trucking. Oh, right. I guess we could do the Roman numeral puzzle. I forgot that that was a thing. Oh, fine. Didn't they just do a remake of Orient Express? Unfortunately, old things are not... They don't stay old anymore. So, spoiling old things is almost like it's a risk because you never know what's going to get remade. <laughs> okay. Now, don't judge. We're entering the no judge zone. Okay. M has to be thousand. I'm not sure what C is, but this has to be bottom left. Is there an MC, MCM, L, MCM, I'm not, I'm not even looking in the chat. I'm not risking it. I'm just going to start moving stuff. No, that's too, here's Here's I. Wait. Four. 
So MCM, MCM one, two, three, four. MCM seven. I wish I could like take them off. I wish I didn't have to swap them. I wish I could just like take them off. MCM. I mean, this one's really long. Can I move the long ones over here? MCML, what the fuck is L? MCM 13? So this has to be 1900, 1900 to 1912. 1900. Nineteen hundred. No, eighteen. Is that eighteen? Nineteen twelve. Is here's L X. What the fuck is L? L is not a Roman numeral. Officially is not a Roman numeral. Here's 1919. No, wait. So 1919 goes at the top. Maybe if I got the top and the bottom done first. 1912. So C has to be 100. C is 100, but that's not going to help me very much. Is it done with music? Hold on. I'm not using the computer though. I'm sitting here doing the thing. MCM. So 12 would be Xi MCM. Yeah, wait. No, that's that's 13. Wait. Maybe it doesn't have the top might not have to be 12 actually. Nineteen twenty, because it just might be. It might just be when this one comes up. Nineteen twenty is MCM. Where are you? Wait. Nineteen twenty would be MCM XX. Which... Here's 1910. 1911. Is this this row right? Be, might, right blah, 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 blah. 1900. 1908. 1910. 1911. 1904. No. Uh, 19... Okay. Nineteen eighty four. Okay. First row. MCM. MCM is a. That's a thing, though, isn't? Doesn't MCM stand for something? Okay, this one's 1919, for sure. Man, that's what it is. Man Crush Monday. That's unfortunate. Okay, so 1919, 1915, 
19, insane. No thank you. This one's 19... 14? 14. 19. 14. 19. 8. No. 19. Here we go. 1915, 1918, 1919. Okay. I think. This is all assuming that I know how to do this, uh, these things. MCM. <laughs> what the fuck is L? L has to be like 50 maybe? No, it can't be 50. Well, maybe it is 50. MCM. No. L is for, uh, MCM XIX, MCM XLI. Here's, uh, 20, 25. So I'm going to guess that that goes here. And then L's, I'm assuming, just come next. So that's one less than L. This one's way higher. This one's... L, X, MCM, oh fuck, MC, oh no, MCM, oh my god. Again, this is not a puzzle, once again, this is, this is what we call homework. 1946, this is 19... 39 So it would go over here this one's 19 32 So this one would go maybe L is even higher MC I'm gonna make all the money now He's gonna make all the money Okay, C was a hundred, right? Yes, yeah, C has to be a hundred. Nineteen hundred... Ten... How does this make sense at all? M, C, M, X, C, V... Oh my god. Peace on Earth. Holy fuck. M, C, M... <laughs> MCM 1925 1932 1939 19 who knows wait here's 19 no there's an L in there I don't know what the L is MCM XCVII C is 100 so MCM is 1900 XCVI, 1910, 10, 10, I don't understand how the C, the X can go before the C. Oh, wait. 19, so it's 1910, is it 1910 minus? Okay, someone who knows Roman numerals. The left half here, how is that looking? Don't tell me how to fix it, just... How is this half? How am I doing? Give me a general, am I, am I on the right track? Do I kind of know what I'm doing, or am I very... The lower ones are supposed to go here, so it goes up, it's snakes. Left is okay. 
Okay. Exactly. We didn't learn Roman numerals because we don't live in ancient Rome. When was the last time Roman numerals, besides reading what, figuring out what Super Bowl it is this year, I don't know of the last time I've used any Roman numerals. Okay. Thank you. M C N. I'm not going to look. Someone just told me something. I'm not going to look. I'm looking away. You've betrayed me, chat. MCM. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to just shove all the everything with an L is going over here. Well, they can't fit. Um, but that's okay. Okay, that's okay. Maybe that's 1946. 19 MCMXLV. I really wish I knew what L was. 45? It's gotta be, L has to be 50. This has to be 1945, which means it would go up here. If L is, if L is 50, that makes sense. 1961 1969 which what was this 19 so this one is 19 This has to be a 19... Okay, okay. It's 19... I can do this. I can do this. 19... Is it 98? 1998? Would they make it that... MX... 19... C is a thousand, so a no, C is a hundred. A hundred plus eight minus ten is ninety-eight. So nineteen hundred ninety-eight. Yes. Maybe nineteen nineteen. 51 minus 10, 1941. So this one has to go over here. 51 minus 10. Okay. We're getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting close. 19, 51, 1960, 1970, 19, IX is 10, 19. Oh, shit. I was doing so well. XIX is 19. 19 plus 50 is 69. 1969. Is that close? How many are how many are out of uh, place? Can anyone give me like a rough number? They're looking okay. They're looking pretty close. Two. Okay. So I just need to swap two. Okay. Don't... Don't tell me where they are. Just tell me... How many are... Okay. I got confirmation on the first two, I think. So let's just go, let's just go. This is 1925, followed 1932, 1939, 
Okay, I read this one wrong initially, so it could be this one. I read this one wrong too. 19... Alice, 1951, 1941. This one's 1941. This one's 1945. 19... Holy shit. 1951, 19... 60, 1970, 19... 69, 19, I said this was 1990 something, right? Uh, I don't know, that looks right to me. It looks, do they stay? I wonder, I wonder if he'll... You're back. No. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm going back, I'm going back, we're... I'm going back. It's also trying to keep, I'm figuring these out and then I forget what the surrounding numbers are, you know? Like once I remember, once I figure this one out, I forget what's above and below it. You can't pet the dog. You can just kind of look at it. I could write it down. Anyway. Okay. 1925. What's the one before it? 1925. I, LX, LXX. So we've got 51, 60, 70. Mm, what a hamburger. Oh, wait. Is it those two? Now that they're all sort yes! of do some reading. Yes. I can see why that was frustrating. I can see why that was frustrating. It's exactly what I said was happening. By the time I figured out the next one, I forgot what the previous one is, so I didn't realize that they were out of order. And I get the celebratory music. Na 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 na. I don't remember why I did that though. Oh, so I can snoop. Okay, let's... Oh, can I only snoop from some of them? Oh, I gotta turn off, sorry, I gotta turn off the jazz. Holy crap. That was, that was a very cathartic uh, folder swap. Thank you for s believing in me. What a hamburger. Oh, no, wait, we should start. We gotta start from the earliest. Earliest they let me look. There's fucking newspaper clippings with dates on it. Why did I have to read? Perfect timing. It's like right when I get frustrated, the music shows up to calm me down is a gangster about to become moon Lake's newest resident rumors are flying oh i don't want to read all of this rumors are flying thick and fast that mickey malone a self-proclaimed captain of industry with far more ties to gamblers and smugglers than to legitimate businessmen is building a house on the north shore of moon lake the rumor started last June when the 10-acre property on which the house is being built was purchased by Philadelphia Duds & Suds, a company owned by Malone, which is widely believed 
to merely be a front for his criminal undertakings. Secrecy has shrouded the project ever since the construction began in October of last year. Four men, uh, four men and a locked gate block the driveway leading to the site. Unauthorized persons and vehicles are some are some uh, are summarily summarily. I don't know that word. What does summarily mean? Drop me a definition. Summarily turned away. I'm assuming it means all of them are. Or is it an adjective? It's got to be an adjective. Immediately? Okay. Day and night, in short order. Okay, thanks guys. I learned a word. Day and night, security guards patrol the heavily wooded lakefront proper property. Several large trucks strategically, strategically parked obscure any and all views of the site from the water. Even the workmen have been sworn to silence. When asked if Mickey Malone was indeed building a home on Moon Lake, Waldo Math Mathias, the uh, agent spearheading the Department of Justice's investigation of Malone's activities, had only this to say. If he is, I suggest he live it up while he can, because the place we're going to be sending him, sending him to ain't on no beach, and he's going to be there for a real long time. Mr. Malone could not be reached for comment. Oh, did my... No regular Ian allowed. Dude's a nerd. That did not take long. Gangster nabbed at Moon Lake residence. Mickey Malone, appropriate music. Mickey Malone arrested right at his luxurious Moon Lake property. Mickey Malone, a Philadelphia businessman long considered by police to be a bootlegger and a racketeer, finally felt the sting of the sword of justice when he was arrested this morning at his house on Moon Lake. Careful to keep Malone's attack dogs at bay, agents from the Internal Revenue Service and the Depart. There he is. I'm assuming that's him. It could also be him. Why are the faces photoshopped onto these people? Why does that look... Why does that look so weird? Was that it? Was that... No. Mint of Justice raided the lakefront home at dawn, catching Malone and his henchmen completely by surprise. Within seconds, Malone was handcuffed. Wearing only an overcoat over his pajamas, he was swept out the door and into a waiting car. He was driven directly to Philadelphia, where he was jailed on charges of tax evasion and conspiracy to violate prohibition laws. The police have been wise to, Mal to Malone's criminal activities for years, but three previous attempts to incarcerate him failed miserably when Malone's shadowy associates through bribes and threats, forced prosecution with... Wait, they know that they forced them with bribes and threats? Forced prosecution... Forced prosecution witnesses to recant their stories. This... So they just actively intimidated witnesses. And that's... Fine. That's cool. This time, federal agents intended to rely on ledgers and tax returns to prove their case. Since 1927, when it was determined that even income gained through illegal corn, dog. corn dogs is taxable, authorities have been eager to use this ruling to make thugs like Malone pay for their crimes. Mickey Malone's been making us look like fools for a long time, declared Bureau of Investigation Agent Waldo mm -hmm. Mathias. He was also eating a great burger at the time. He was drinking a nice hot toddy at the time, and it was delicious. But today, the good guys finally got the last laugh. Malone loudly and repeatedly proclaimed that he'd done nothing wrong as he was led to jail. However, his uh, protestations, 
protestations of innocence ended abruptly when, apparently not wishing to be photographed in his pajamas, Malone took a swing at a press photographer. He was quickly subdued. Oh my goodness gracious, what a beautiful day. It sounds like a beautiful day outside. It sure does. The Belafonte Star. Uh, war takes. Philadelphia mobster dies in Leavenworth. This was 1941. Michael Mickey Malone died yesterday of liver failure in the federal penitentiary of Leavenworth, Kansas at the age of 52. That's how I'm gonna die. Born in Newark, New Jersey in 1889, Malone o owned and operated Philadelphia Duds and Suds, a chain of laundromats and dry cleaners that allowed him to disguise and disperse the money he made as a racketeer. Compared to other gangsters, Malone... Okay. Compared to other gangsters, Malone kept a relatively low profile. His desire for privacy was enforced by four large dogs who never left his side. Although he was rumored to be involved in everything from rum running to gold heists, he never spent a single night in jail until he was ar arrested in 1932 for tax evasion. He was convicted the following year and was sentenced to eight years in federal prison. He died just two months before he was scheduled to be released. It was very pleasant. Very pleasant. I'm assuming this is current. Dragging ban is a drag. Bars gold in bar sand bars. At least, that's been the experience of Emily Griffin, owner of M's Emporium on Moon Lake in central Pennsylvania. For the past 10 years, she has been dragging a heavy net back and forth along the bottom of the lake, uncovering and bringing to the surface relics from the 1920s. I've dredged up everything from diamond tiaras to skeleton keys to full bottles of French cognac, said Griffin. It just blows my mind what those people would drop back then and never bother going back for. She was referring to the wealthy guests of gangster Mickey Malone, who built a home on the lake in 1925 and threw large parties, blah, 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 he died. Uh, because his guests would travel to and from the house by boat, Personal items were lost overboard with great frequency. Miss Griffin estimates that she has made close to $20,000 selling her fine. Why would you put it in a newspaper? People are going to come steal your idea. The last week, her windfall came to an end. Oh, that's why. The county in which Moon Lake is located passed an ordinance making the recovery of objects from the lake bed illegal. The ban arose from the fact that the bottom of the lake, the bottom of Moon Lake is composed of unusually fine sand. When disturbed, it clouds the water, sometimes for days, posing a threat to the aquatic plants and fish that otherwise thrive there. Park ranger Jeff Akers, who oversees the state park surrounding the lake, initiated the ban. The echo balance of Moon Lake is simply too delicate to ignore, he contends. But Miss Griffin begs to differ. The whole thing's just plum ridiculous, she says. You know what all that stuff down there is doing right now? It's rusting, rotting away, polluting the water. Yodelay hee hoo! Heck, by getting it out of there, I'm doing the county a favor. Unfortunately, the county doesn't see it that way, and it appears that Miss Griffin will have to abandon what had become a pleasantly profitable hobby. Oh, I don't know, she shrugs. I can still sell the stuff that washes up on shore, and that happens, you know, especially after a good storm. So I may be down, she says, eyes twinkling, but I ain't necessarily out. Money won't get flushed down this toilet, Watch the Septics Roadshow Monday nights on the Plumbing Broadcast Service. Check your local listings for broadcast times. That's a real clue.
Okay, well, I read all those things. I did the thing, and I read all of the things, and I hope that you enjoyed that. You're back. Yep. I finished putting all those envelopes in order. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Drew. And to show my gratitude, I've got something for you. It doesn't involve Roman numerals, does it? No, it's an honorary Junior Park Ranger pin. I keep them on hand so I can give them out to children whom I see demonstrating respect for park rules and regulations. A little bit of positive reinforcement. Thanks. Unfortunately, I don't get to give them out that often. Oh, gee, thanks, Ranger Acres. She said it just like I did. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Thanks. Okay, well, I've learned a lot of information, which means I need to go talk to somebody. I guess I'll go talk to her. Here we go. Nice Junior Park Ranger pin. You must really be on Acre's good side. Guess I'll see you later. Yola, hee hoo. Oh. How you holding up? Guess I'll see you later. I don't know Keep if I put it on trucking. or if she can just see it in my pocket. I'm not 100% positive. Okay. Still not quite sure. Still not quite sure what I'm doing. I can't believe I can't ask anybody about the speaker on the roof. Can I follow the wire? Hold on, maybe I can follow the wire. Because it was, I think it was running off the side of the building. The thing is you can't, I can't, oh, I can now. Now, okay, now I can go over there. Okay, I get it. Now, now I'm physically capable. Oh no. How do I, can I like observe it? Huh. Hmm, where did that come from? Have I been down here? Oh wait, no, this is the... I'm, lo I'm losing where I'm at. Sometimes I get lost in here. Okay, so that's all I can do. I kind of want to go... I kind of want to go look at the cemetery to see if anything's changed, but it's not worth... It's not really worth the walk over there, you know? Mm, what a hamburger. I cannot just type in to do the keys. I tried. One, two, one, five, 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 three, eight, nine. Hello? Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Talk to you later. Stay in touch. Where are the ghost dogs? That's a great question. I really thought that, that they were going to be more involved. Uh, I guess I'm going to go check the cemetery real quick, just to see. I have a feeling it's going to be exactly the same. Hmm. How are the loud dogs near my house there? I mean, they're still the same as every day. 
They were barking from nine until noon when I left to go do errands, so. Uh, still nice and active. Wait. Wait. All wait. Nineteen thirty two, January twenty ninth, January twenty ninth. This says all of the dogs died on the same day. Whereas when we first got here, somebody told us that they ran off into the forest and died one by one. Um, so that's definitely strange. That's definitely odd. I think Birdman is the one that told us that. It was, well, there's only three characters, so. It was either Birdman or, uh. I think it was. It was Birdman or M. I think they said that. The, uh. The grave markers might have been for show? I don't know. But that definitely doesn't line up with what somebody told me. But I don't know that I can use that information. I guess I could... I don't think I have the... Let's look at the puzzles in the house real quick. I don't think I have the information that I need to solve them though. How about trying Lucky Hit? I don't know, like, anything about their dogs. Vitus, Iggy, Lucy, Xander. The names aren't familiar. Well, in the graveyard, I tried to do it to the way their graves were facing, but that didn't work. Should I write this down? Two swans. It's gonna drive me completely insane, this music. How do you only compose two songs for your game? I'm gonna get paper, I'm gonna get paper. I feel like this stuff is important. And I also don't have anywhere to go, so I'm just gonna start writing shit down. Speaking of Central High, someone reach out to me with some very inter making some very interesting claims about Central High. I will investigate. But um someone involved apparently involved in the production. Is that you? Are you here watching me now? Okay. D H D H Oregon D H Oregon 100. I have no confirmation, but someone is making claims. I I've got your email. I just haven't gotten back to you. In fact, consider this my confirmation that I am interested. Feel free to email me more to talk about whatever you wanted to talk about. We would all love to find out more about its production. 
Okay. So two two swans. I don't even know what to write down. Because Central High is awesome. Two swans. Two swans. Oh. Well, the claims were just that the, someone directed it. That was that was the claims. Are they always the same? Okay, two. Two. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So we got two pink swans on like a lot of these. What happens if I twist? What if I, do I get different things if I twist the, uh, these guys around? Ooh. Okay. I have no idea what I should be setting them to. Two. So oh my god. I mean, all this shit is on the walls. Please do not offer suggestions. Those are still hints. They're hints. They're hints. That's a hint. What you're doing? Shut up or I'll bust your face! Yeah, shut up or I'll bust your- Shut up with the hints or I'm gonna bust your face. I'm known for busting faces. That was not- It was not a song directed at any individual. It was a song directed at a few individuals. And I'm never angry about it, even if I complain. I promise I'm never upset. I just want to try and... I love puzzles. I love puzzles, and there's n nothing more satisfying than figuring it out. Man, swapping those folders... It was a simple folder swap, but... Energizing. And you don't get that feeling if you take the hints. Okay, well, I gotta figure out how everything relates. I gotta figure out... I wish I'd seen those pictures somewhere besides all over the walls. Leaves that appear, are these I wonder if these are separate things, one for each thing on the clock? Or is it a full riddle? Leaves that appear on a fresh spring tree make my birth different from the... I don't even know. Hold on. I need to take notes. I need to write down... Um, yeah, also, I was looking at my stream archive for the other Nancy Drew stream. Something to note is that my window is... Well, I can't show you. My window is very, very tiny. I'm noticing how much more you guys are able to see than I can. So if I'm missing anything, don't tell me, but that's my, that's my defense. What is that? Are those birds? What the fuck is that supposed to be?
What is that? I, if, can you tell what those things are? It's too small for me to see. I think they're, they might be birds. Birds? Okay. Thank you. Mm, what a so we've got three blue birds. At least, at least they're close. That's not the order, is it? That would be dumb if that was the order. It's definitely birds, though, because those are the three. We've got two brown moose. I'm not able to make the window bigger. It's just, these games are so old. Two pink swans? Geese? Yeah, it's it's 640 by 480. I'm just happy that I, I can run it windowed mode because initially I thought it was just gonna stretch out across my entire monitor, which would have been uh, bad. There's some green in there. Don't be alone in the dark. Hang out here and listen to this great music. Okay, here we go. We got two trees. Two green trees. Ooh, or broccolis. How do you like your broccoli? I was just having this discussion last night. I don't like like steamed mush. I don't like mushy broccoli. I like a good raw brock. Give me that raw brock. Broccoli and cheese is pretty good. Maybe these are just telling me. Leaves, tree, swans. To the pink swan. So let's do that. Let's do tree. Tree, swan, deer, I guess they're deer, not moose. Deer and birds. That seems like a pretty, that seems like a pretty straightforward order to me. So we've already done the tree. Let's just see, let's see what the others are real quick. I love beef broth. I love using beef broth to cook with stuff. Cook with, cook things. Okay, that's wrong. So I need to move the third one. The last one's wrong. Second one, second one is right. So it's just the last two that are wrong. I like making ri my rice in like a rice cooker with beef broth instead of, uh, well, not just beef broth. Half beef broth, half water. That's mainly where I use it, but you can, you're supposedly you're able to swap it out anytime you use water. But I love it in rice. I love it in rice. Yeah, beef broth in your tea. You can just drink beef broth straight out of the, uh, that's wrong. Straight out of the carton. That is also wrong. They are both still wrong.
Put it in your Folgers. That's right. That's wrong. Unless unless it's the order they open. It, it could be the order they open. Uh, if that's the case, we're going to have to change them again. But at least... At least we're on the case. Finally. Clickety click. Yes. Is it just the last one? That's right. Birds. Okay. Okay, no. Okay, so it's got to be tree. Uh, then the... What order are they go in? Tree. Okay, then swan has to be... Oh no, what, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Yes. Swan needs to go there. Sorry, I just... Brain fart, I forgot. <laughs> you know when you forget your plan? This needs to be deer. And this needs to be... Birds. So I need to change the last, the last three. I think the wallpaper and the curtains do have the same pattern. They were describing this as like a luxurious mansion or whatever, which I don't know that I agree with. Bark. There's a giant hole. I guess the giant hole in the floor wasn't always there in their defense. Okay, the third one is wrong. That one's right. And that one's right. So it's just the third one? My notes are too similar, so I get confused on which one is... Tree! Next one should be swan. Next one should be deer. Last one should be birds. Okay. The only other thing I can think of is if it's based, if the order is based on their birth dates. Yeah, their birth dates. Because their death dates are the same. I think something is supposed to happen. I. Oh, you know what? What if I had it right the first time? Because you can click it again. I think something is supposed to happen here. I might have had it the first time. I sure wish I remembered what they looked like. Is there an option to turn the music up? I think there's there's definitely an option to turn it down. Yeah. 
That one needs to be, no. Third one is wrong. Last one is wrong. They're all, all it's all just... It's all just wrong. I mean, we could, let's save. Why don't we save? Haven't done that in a while. You guys gotta remind me to save. Okay. Tree. No, wrong. Correct. Fourth one is correct. Third one is incorrect. Okay, two and three need to be... Adjusted? I did say no helping. Is someone helping me? I didn't see someone helping me. Don't help me. I don't need help. I'm a grown man and I don't need help. Oh, you meant with the saving. I got you now. That is correct. Third one is correct. Inch Jim, you can always talk to your current uh, landlord. They might, uh, they'll probably give you an extension if you need more time. They'll, it'll probably be a little more expensive than your regular rent, but they'll probably prorate you a month if you need another month. I would, that's what I would do. Okay, birds, yes. No. Wait. Yes. Three is right. Four, so it's just two now. Oh, wait, everything is available immediately. Oh yeah, just go, yeah, yeah. Just go to the new place. Just call them, sorry, I didn't notice that you said that. Can't find suitable apartments. Everything is available immediately. Yeah, I would ask. Contact ones you like and ask. I had, uh, my tiny apartment with the tiny kitchen, that, uh, when I went there, that lady actually held the apartment for over a month for me. She held it, she held it for like two months for me, just because she liked me when we, we interviewed, and she was like, I'd like you to live here. Which one am I fixing? I already forgot. Is it three? I should double check. I think we're almost done with the puzzle. I think we had the first of trees. Deer, it's two. It's two. Yeah. Okay, trees. Deer. Birds. This needs to be swans. Okay. Nothing. Fucking nothing. Hopefully you don't have to double up on the rent. I, the best thing you can do is call and ask. You, you're not gonna get a sweet apartment deal if you don't call and ask for one, you know? What the fuck? Oh my god, there's time in this game. This is the first time we've seen a time transition. 
Oh no, I went the wrong way. Oh, I'm turned around now. Fuck. Oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm good. Let's go. I feel like I should be able to solve the house. I feel like I I have enough I feel like I have enough information to solve the house puzzle. I'm just not putting it together the correct way. They all died. My pro or anti Grinch leak for sm I actually don't know what that is all about. Um, I know that people have been talking about the Grinch and Smash in like the same breaths, but I don't actually know why they're doing it. So, oh, why did I put? Okay, Iggy. Was born November eleventh, nineteen nineteen. Some dude worked in some place that had promotional things for Nintendo. Leaked a thing after being fired. Well, we've definitely never heard that one before, so it's probably just true. I don't care either way, because I'm not going to play as Grinch in Smash, so I don't really give a shit. There's so many characters in that game, and I'm going to pick the Grinch. That's not... It's just not going to happen. Who do I play in Smash? I played, uh... In Smorsh, I played Bowser Jr. a little bit. I don't play a lot of Smash. Um, I like Captain Falcon. I like to just Falcon Punch the whole game. Uh, that's kind of my skill level when it comes to Smash. Okay, so maybe this puzzle is based on their age. I'm gonna try and do it. I've been through these woods too many times. Oh, I'm gonna go confront uh, Birdman while I'm out here. Howdy. See you in a while. Shh, down a notch. Remember. No. Hmm. Surely it didn't want me to use the flashlight on the... No, there's no way. It's probably not safe to go in there. Bullshit! Uh... It's not safe to take the boat out at night. This reminds me of when I was locked in prison. Remember? For the whole game? It's frustrating to have those limits. Let's look at this. It all goes together, but what am I... Uh, 
I didn't find I did not finish Ghost of Mafia. I wasn't really as captivated by Ghost of Mafia as I, I thought I would be. Oh wait, never mind. I thought I figured it out, but I didn't. Make my, I think maybe the second lines are making me, are helping me differenti differentiate between the dogs? Make my birth different from the other three. I'm wondering if that refers to the dates because all three of them were born in the 20s, while one of them was born on 1919. I'm the one who plays in the Summer Dew. None of these are... Summer, really. Spring... Is August summer? August is summer. August is still summer, right? I who howls on mornings. There's nothing about mornings in here. Uh, I may be, I might be barking up the wrong tree here. <laughs> Cause then there's morning and night, which doesn't help. Maybe it's all together. Maybe it's all together. Spring? Lucy was born in spring. So maybe Lucy is tree. Mm, what a hamburger. Summer dew. Xander is from the summer. So maybe he's uh, swans. Autumn's call, November, is autumn, right? I know seasons, right? So maybe Iggy is a uh, deer? And winter, hmm. Okay, February, okay, maybe? Maybe, maybe, birds. Let's try. Let's give it a shot. Kept saying, Larapin. It's Larapin. That means it's tasty. Okay. So... That means we want it to go, in order of left to right, we want it to go birds, Iggy is deer, Lucy is tree. I think this is actually right. I think that's, this might be right. Then swans. We did not solve the ghost dogs, but I'm I am feeling I'm feeling confident uh, on the path that I'm going. I think we might be about. You broke your leg. I'm sorry. What did you do? What happened? I've never broken a bone because I'm. I don't know. I don't do anything. I don't move. Wrong. Wrong. I'm wearing my Halloween costume. Clearly, everything's wrong. Sprained your ankle? I don't think I've sprained. I've jammed a finger, and I've got stitches on my forehead. That's about it. Walking down the street is doing something, though. That's one of the things I don't do. I think the most dangerous thing that I do is drive. 
Wrong. Correct. Three is correct. Four is wrong. Two is wrong. I was riding a bull. That was pretty dangerous. I am surprised I didn't injure myself while galloping. I don't... I don't usually gallop. It's not a motion my body is uh, used to. Correct. Birds is correct. Did we ever find out what... Super Junior, what'd you do? Rentable electric scooters? You mean like a Segway? Fourth is wrong. Oh, wow. Okay, we just gotta fix the fourth. I think this could be it. I think this could be it. I'm feeling good. <gasps> well, I don't want to step there. Hold on, let's... I know what happens hey, when you step hamburger. there. My prime suspect is everybody. Every I'm pretty sure everybody did it. Everybody has a vague motive, which means they're guilty. Now, does this do anything once it's done? Or is it just the door? I might be able to fix the floor. Uh, please don't suggest... <laughs> suggest... Uh... Suggest things, though. You can fall through the floor. We've we've died by falling through the floor before. Okay. Nice hint. Nice hint. Uh, it was correct. No more hints, please. Thank you. Uh... Oh. Is this the music that I should be listening to right now? I don't know what that was, but I took it. I have no idea what that was. It didn't let me look at Oh no. Okay, if you were just now arriving or weren't paying attention while I spent five hours solving a dog puzzle, we have solved the clock rotating dog uh, statue puzzle. It unlocked a hidden, uh, hidden door that had has this in it. It could be mice making that sound. That's not mice. It's blocked. I'm confused. Was there a piece of paper on it? I can barely read this. A uh, copper's number. Sheik died Black Tuesday 14th Street Hotel Fire Uncle Clayton died Okay, so these are dates So I'm gonna find this by Recording the dates and then finding out How it relates and then whenever what's-his-face was arrested. That's what it's gonna be. Um, what do we know? Black Tuesday.
I don't know that we know any of these dates, though. I'll just write it down. I'll write it down because I'll come across something later. I don't understand. Coppers? Coppers number? Maybe? Six, three, four, four, nine, three. Maybe I'll find stuff in the archives? Sheik dies. I don't know who that is. Zero, eight, two, three, two. Or maybe this just means that they change the combinations when these events happen. But I'm still going to write it down because I think that they're going to help me later. One... Oh, two, nine, two, nine. Now I'm less confident that the numbers are relating to the dates. Now I'm kind of feeling like they just got changed every time these events happen and they just wrote down. But I'm still not positive, so we're taking the notes. I feel like we didn't figure out when Uncle Clayton died. I feel like that is the date that I'm going to be able to find. One, one, is that a one? One, seven, three, oh. Ooh, I wonder if it relates to numbers on, like, the clippings. I will have to do some digging. I'm gonna dig around and stuff that's not my business. William Akers? I wonder if he's related to Jeff Akers. Wait. William Akers, okay, so William Akers might be related to Jeff Akers, and he was an employee of uh, Mickey Malone's. Mr. Malone has never spent a, a night in jail, and he never will, said William Akers. And you know why? Because he's just an ordinary Joe trying to run an ordinary business. He said this with such conviction that for a moment, this reporter honestly thought, this reporter, this reporter honestly thought Akers was talking about somebody other than Mickey Malone, the, notor the notorious gangster. I got distracted by that, uh, whatever, cliche. But I was standing on the porch of Malone's getaway home in Moon Lake, having bushwhacked through thick brush from the east side of the lake to avoid detection and uh, probable eviction by his bodyguards. And I was talking to the man who, according to the police, is the only person Malone trusts. I ought to know, I see him every day, Akers went on. He doesn't deserve all the grief you newspaper hacks give him. He's a rich man because his laundromats are fine establishments, and people like to wash their clothes there. All this talk about him being a bootlegger is just plain hogwash. When I asked if I could talk to Malone, Akers said Malone was out walking. Like I said, He's an ordinary guy who likes to do ordinary things. When I asked him if I could wait for him, he said, What for? Anything you want to know about Mickey Malone, I can tell you. I've worked for him for 15 years. When I said uh, all I wanted was the truth, he said, Then you're in luck, because that's just what I told you. And now, I suggest you leave. Mickey's a swell guy, but he got... 
He's, but he's got these four big dogs, blah, blah, blah. I would love for the dogs to come back. We keep talking about the dogs. I kind of wish I could explore one of his laundromats. I took the hint and left, but as I struggled through the brush to get back to my car, I realized something. Akers hadn't told me the truth about what Mickey Malone did. I knew that. But he had told me an important truth when it came to what Mickey Malone was. Someone who had at least one extremely loyal employee. I ask you, good, cit uh, good citizens of Philadelphia, how many so-called legitimate businessmen can say the same thing? So, nothing happened. Oh, thank goodness. So can I, like, use this now? Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like something is happening. Oh, that's probably where the door opens. No, my, ha my neighborhood is haunted by very, very real, very annoying dogs. It would be much more, I don't know, it'd be much more acceptable if they were ghost dogs, because who's going to tell the ghost dogs to shut up? You know? Okay, I need to talk to Park Ranger Man. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I need to talk to Park Ranger Man. Hmm, 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 hmm. Wearing the onesies to the store. I know how that goes, because I definitely did that. Absolutely. I did it, and it was fun. You're back. I found a newspaper dating back to 1927 in Sally's house. Since you're kind of an expert on the history of Moon Lake, do you mind if I ask you some questions about Mickey Malone? Not at all. The article mentioned that a man named William Akers used to work for Malone. Is he a relative of yours? No. Quite a coincidence, I'll admit, but no. I am in no way related to the head flunky of some two-bit gangster and his gang of thugs. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. Spoken like someone related to the head flunky of some two-bit gangster and his gang of thugs. I found this old picture in Sally's house. Do you know who these people are? The man is Mickey Malone, I know that. I'm guessing that this is his girlfriend, Vivian Burnett, I think her name was. And judging by the year of that brand new Ford in the background, I'd say the picture was taken in 1928. I'll write that down, I guess. Though, now that I'm writing things down in a journal, I do feel, I feel more like Nancy Drew. Because I'm assuming that's the kind of thing she would be doing. She was probably as familiar with Malone's house and his dogs as he was. Think there's any chance she's still alive? Tell you what, Miss Drew. Why don't I go through my files and see what I can dig up on this mystery woman? I'm a busy man, but like I always say, I'm here to serve. You had a real attitude about serving. It's like... I mean, it's good that you're doing it, but... It's your job, man. It's your job. When and why was Malone arrested? I'm sorry, Ms. Drew. As usual, I'm a little pressed for time. If you have more questions, why don't you sit down at the computer and peruse the Moon Lake database of fascinating factoids that I've put together? What happened to Akers and the rest of Malone's gang after he went to prison? <laughs> Fortunately for Moon Lake, they all left and went their separate ways. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. We'll have fun standing at the desk. Just standing there, real busy like, and putting your hands there, and then 
What are you doing? Are you typing? What are you... Practicing theremin motions? Okay. First residence. Oh my god, doesn't this look like so much? What is it? Hey, what is it? Hey, why it's butter cup? Popcorn. Uh <laughs> Ben Franklin. Okay, so he goes to prison in 1933. I feel like that was explained in the... Oh my God. I wish I had like some computer music, like they had made like a browsing computer computer theme. Uh, and he built his house in 1925. I'm just like skimming for dates. I'm just trying to look for, uh, I don't know, anything. Oh, you know what? Didn't they talk about fire on the logs? Let's see. Mm, what a hamburger. There's also a bunch of stuff on like the walls. Could have a different uh mm, I don't think that's right. Ah. Uh, You're back. Thanks for all your help. Okay, I'm gonna Always go talk to other people now, just to see if I can get any. I don't quite know what I'm looking for here. We did do the, the Roman numerals. Hmm. This would be a lot easier if I could just ask any question. I know that's not possible, but it would be easier. How you holding up? I found an old newspaper in Sally's house that contained an article on Mickey Malone. It really got my curiosity going. 
What else can you tell me about him? Person you should talk to is Jeff Akers. He's got this historical museum thing going out at that ranger station of his. Guess I'll see you later. Keep on trucking. Well, it sure sounds like I was in the right place, doesn't it? Uh... She didn't yodel. That's right. I feel like there's information in there's information in this history probably on the computer, I guess. You're back. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. He's busy, okay? He's doing this. Why don't you try doing that? And holding a historical conversation. Mm. It's got to be in the history. It's got to be... Okay, so the, the numbers I'm trying... I'm trying to look for any information on... Whatever Copper's number is, Sheik dies, Black Tuesday, 14th Street Hotel fire, Uncle Clayton died. Who is Uncle Clayton? This is just telling you how to do Roman numerals. Uh, okay, so... If you have any questions, just ask. He told me to come to you, dude. He told me to come to your stupid website. No. Let's see some serious coinage here. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, Vanna. I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm not sure what I'm looking for right now. I'm looking for... Anything? I don't s I just don't see anything that's gonna help me that much. We didn't We didn't read anything about an Uncle Clayton or a Is there not any history of the famous gangster that lived here? We can't Yeah, we read all the stuff in the files. You can only access so many of them. They were all about... Uh... They were all about... Sorry, I got distracted looking at these numbers. They were all about uh, the gangster, but... 
I mean, hold on. Hold on. There's one more, there's one more thing I can look at. I wonder if I can find a six digit number on the newspaper uh, that talks about him getting arrested. Okay, not this. Okay, so he was arrested. He was arrested January 29, 1932. That's a six digit number. I wonder if that's the number. Is that the number? I was wondering if it was going to be like, that's a number. I just, maybe that could work 30. One, two, nine, one, nine. No, none of these are like, none of the other things look like dates. So I don't think that that's what it is. Time to talk to people. Can I like... Oh, wait. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Well, I don't actually think that we can operate the dial yet. I think the dial is stuck. So, maybe we're a little early? We're not on a puzzle, really. Well, I guess we're on a puzzle. Our current obstacle seems to be a, a lock in a basement. But I can't operate it. So, Black Tuesday. Black Tuesday started October 24th. I just remembered I could just look up the date of when Black Tuesday started. Uh... It's not super helpful. It's blocked. It looks like a tiny hole. It looks like a tiny hole. Yeah, I'm trying to stick this in there. It looks, it's blocked. Blocked by I don't understand. It looks like a tiny hole. Yeah, it does. What do you do with tiny holes? You randomly jab objects into them and see if something happens. It looks like a it, it, it looks like a tiny hole. Yeah, so Black Tuesday was October 24th, 1929. And you know, there's numbers on here that I mean, there's 29, there's 19, 1929 is in here, but then there's 02. 
So I don't think... There's no four. I just need to figure out all of these dates. If I can figure out all these dates, I'll have a better chance of... Uh, figuring out... I don't understand Copper's number. But also, I don't know how to actually operate. I can't open it. Oh, no. Let's... See you in a while. Shh, down a notch. Remember. I can't believe I can't like accuse somebody of doing shit to the roof. What happened to the speaker on the roof? I have I don't feel like I've told anybody about that. Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Talk to you later. Keep me posted. Okay. Nancy, how's it going? This caller ID stuff is going to take some getting used to. Oh, I'm here too, Nan. ID. What's going on? Hmm. There's a private cemetery in the I don't know that any of this back. is going to be helpful. Malone and his dogs are supposedly buried there. Creepy. Oh, that's it. And there were paw prints in the cemetery. Fresh paw prints. Are you sure you're going to be all right there by yourself? We'd volunteer to drive out there and keep you company, but unfortunately my car's in the shop, and you know what a scaredy cat George is. That's okay. There's really no room, and believe me, living conditions here are pretty primitive. Scaredy cat, huh? You're gonna pay for that remark, dear cousin. Did I mention that all the water in Sally's house comes from a well? Ew, really? Does it taste like rotten eggs? Not all well water tastes like rotten eggs, Bess. I don't know if it does or not, because the well is so old, I need to get the water tested before I drink it. Good you plan. did do that. Nothing will wreck your day faster than a nice tall glass of contaminated water. I think somebody may have deliberately put poison down Sally's well. Yikes. What makes you think that? The Department of Health found unusually high levels of arsenic in the water sample I sent them. Somebody's trying to poison you with arsenic? They said that? It's apparently not unusual to find some arsenic in well water. So somebody could be trying to poison you. But you don't know for sure. Right. And they may not be trying to poison anybody. They may want to contaminate the well just enough to force Sally to either go to the expense of digging a new one or forget the whole thing and leave. And because arsenic is found naturally in well water anyway, you may never know for sure. Bummer. Hmm. They don't give me hints, right? Because I'm a senior. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. Did you notice the teeny tiny little hole next to yes. the lock on that wall safe? It's probably a locking mechanism for the tumbler. So if Nancy stuck something in there, she'd be able to turn the lock? Yes, but it could be pretty hard to pin down something that small. I used the pin. Okay, well, thanks. Bye, you guys. Ta-ta. Ciao for now. So I need a smaller object. Do 
Surely it's not the pen. I tried the pen. You all saw me try the pen. I have a I have a pen. Sorry, I say pen and pen the same way. Apparently it's confusing to people. I have a pen. I don't have a pen, but I thought maybe it was just a hint, you know? Like a little funny, silly little hit hint. It looks like a tiny hole. Oh, so you have to it's click it twice. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Uh... I hope I didn't waste like my one big hint on that. Did I get multiple ones? Fourteenth Street. Is that a thing that actually I can look up? Fourteenth Street Hotel oh, wow. Fire. Nineteen eighty two. That's two. Nineteen eighty two is too uh, recent, don't you think? I mean, I see some. What state are we in again? Forget where we're supposed to be. Pennsylvania. I don't know. I don't know. I think I might have to actually find this date in here, if it's a thing. Uncle Clayton died. Who the fuck is Uncle Clayton, and how do I learn more about his death? I can't like search any books I sure wish I could just like read some history on the the guy right because they probably if he had an uncle Clayton they'd probably Okay, so Uncle Clayton is, uh, so basically there's a list of events that correspond to a, a list of numbers. And I'm assuming that they have to do with the dates. So I'm trying to figure out if I need the dates uh, to decode the numbers. Do you just want to try the... We could just try the date that he got pinched. There's no way that this works. There's absolutely zero chance that this is gonna work. Oh. Mm. 
my attitude is souring a little. Someone, uh, hey, I need, uh, let's talk about something fun. I'm getting sleepy and, and stomach achy. Yeah, I don't know. I'm stumped. I feel like I should. I feel like I should know. Oh, hey, congrats on that new job. Peanuts and candy. No. I don't. Uh, I'm not a candy. What are they called? Fans of candy corn. Candy. I'm not a candy corn head. Wait. I forgot that we had a PDA. Oh, look. Well, there it is. It's right there. How did they get that date, though? 01 2932. What was I doing? 1 29. Oh, that's what I was doing. Okay. So I was on the, uh, I was on the right path. I just, why did I do it that way? I don't understand why I did it that way. Oh, is middle button the reset button? I thought that was entering the numbers. Uh, that does kind of, that kind of counts as a hint, but 
That was one I probably needed. Because I don't know that there's... There's no way to verify... The mechanics on the safe. So I would have just kept trying different combinations the same way. Oh, it was nice. Oh, uh, very wow. nicely mice. rendered mice. No. I better be careful. No, don't. I better be careful. I better be careful. You guys ever get a really sharp pain in your chest that's normal right that's a normal thing that happens William Akers speakeasy today Mickey went to prison but when they were walking him to the paddy wagon he told me to take care of his dogs and when the time came to do their tombstones like he told me then he whispered to me to look under the Victro Victorola. Is that how you say that? In this uh, speakeasy at Moon Lake. Is That's a piano, right? Is a Victrola a piano? What's a Victrola? Victrola. Record player. I knew it was something music-y something. He said I'm... He said I'd find a map to the gold he stole two years ago. Then they shoved him into the wagon and that was that. Poor Mickey, how's a guy who never spent one night in jail supposed to spend eight years in prison? He'll never make it. I think he wants me to have the gold because deep down he knows he's never coming home. Anyway, I looked under the Victrola and found the map. The problem is, there's nothing on it except a bunch of lines and the words, the dogs will lead the way. There's no X marking the spot or directions or nothing. But I need money bad. My wife and baby having blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. Um, pack them up and move to Moon Lake permanently so I can spend all my time looking for the gold. May 4th, 1933. Mickey never told me outright that he was the guy who pulled off the hole in the floor gold heist. He always said, the less I knew, the healthier I'd stay. But according to the papers, a bunch of gold was stolen off a moving train right under the noses of about a dozen Pinkertons. Mickey must have greased somebody's palm, blah, 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 blah. In the game's defense, this is not a lot. This is not a lot of information to read. It's just a lot of information to read aloud. Uh, Grease's palm real good and got him to cut a hole in the floor of the box car. The gold was going to be shipped in. After the gold was loaded, one of his boys crawled under the train and pulled himself into the box car. Then, when the train was moving, he dropped the gold down into the hole in the tracks. Mickey's boys picked it up and got away clean. Nobody ever suspected that Mickey was behind it. So what I'm looking for is 20 gold bars. The papers said altogether they weighed around 600 pounds. The question is, did Mickey hide them in one place? Or did he spread them around? He must have buried them, but where? In the lake, maybe? Maybe he threw them in the lake? I just thought of something. Maybe Mickey trained his dogs to go to the gold if you say the right word. I'm going to try saying gold to them tomorrow and see what happens. I've said every word I can think of to all of the dogs, but they haven't led me anywhere except around in circles. I spent the last month following them around, first Xander, then Vitus, then Lucy. I don't have to follow Iggy because all he does is sleep on the porch. <laughs> 
So it looks like I'm gonna have to start digging. I'll dig under the porch first, seeing as that's where Iggy always is. A month ago, I started working as a handyman over in Lewiston to make ends meet. So even though I stop by Mickey's every day to feed the dogs, I can only look for the gold at night. I dug all around under the porch, but didn't find nothing. I marked the porch on the Joe map. Akers? Shut up, I'm reading. Jeff Akers' father was named Joe. Maybe Jeff is related to William Akers after all. Thanks. On the map with, uh... On the map with a big eye for Iggy. Oh, we marked the map, big eye, Iggy, because that's the place it leads me to. I was so busy digging last Tuesday night that I almost wasn't there when my son was born. We're calling him Joe. His big sister is real happy. He says, baby Joe, blah, blah, blah. Keep writing to Mickey, asking him to please tell me straight out where the gold is, but he never writes back. I'll just have to keep digging. What was that? I can't go back, so. Digging in the woods, dig around, blah, blah, blah. Paths look blah, blah, blah. Memorize the path to the cemetery. I already know how to get there. Unless that's a different cemetery. If someone knows there's gold there, what if they made a fake cemetery to distract people from looking for it. I'm just going to write it down just in case. Let's... Doesn't help to, uh, or doesn't hurt to try. Okay, now I spend all my free time digging in the woods. I dig around everything that could be a landmark. Did I already read this? Even though Mickey never allowed the dogs in the speakeasy or the tunnels. The tunnels? I've been looking there for the gold because I looked everywhere else I can think of and got nowhere. Last week I found out that Mickey changed the passcode to the spigots and the speakeasy. This got my hopes up. Because the way I figured it, why would Mickey change the code without telling me unless he was hiding something? But when I finally figured out the new code, I didn't find nothing in the tunnel that opened up that wasn't there before. Why Mickey spent all that money on pictures of those dogs of his, I'll never understand. I give up, Mickey's dead, and so are all his dogs. I'll never find the gold. I got a good job offer over in Harrisburg, and I'm going to take it. Little Joe and Sarah de 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 deserve a better life than they've gotten so far, and it's high time Callie got a nice house and a husband who doesn't spend all his time chasing after something he can't find. But I'm leaving this journal here because who knows, maybe someday I'll suddenly remember something Mickey said, and it'll finally hit me where he hid the gold. Maybe I'll come back here and find it after all. But in the meantime, I got my family. They're what's important. They're treasure enough. Well... You found the the true treasure, the, the real dogs treasure. Will lead the way. I wonder what that means. Okay, so Iggy always stays there, uh, and then the other ones run in circles. How do I get out of here? Let me out. Let me. Oh wow! Let me out. Do I have to go all the way back? Okay. So that's not the tunnels. Did something else open up? Hold on, I gotta double check. Better be careful. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't just, I can't believe I can't just pick it up. Okay, what did he say about, he said something about changing the code. There's a fly. We're having a fly problem. Not a problem, there's just so many of them. Go away. Go away. The spigots in the speakeasy.
So there's a speakeasy. Oh, right. There's a speakeasy under the... Okay. Okay. I gotta find the record player or something. Or something. Nope. Was there a record player in here? Was it in here that... Um, okay. Well, I definitely need to go talk to Park Ranger What's-His-Face, Acres. I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to be able to get into tunnels now. Uh, record players in the speakeasy. I guess I don't know how to get to the speakeasy yet. I don't... We're working on it. Let's do a save. Why don't we do a little bit of a save? We fixed the floor. It's fixed. Okay. Let's go talk to... Uh... This music is wearing me down. I'll be honest. This music is wearing me down. Oh, I went the wrong way! Might as well... You hold no. Oh! Do you know anything about the gold that Mickey Malone supposedly buried somewhere on his property? All I got to say about it is, if there really was a bunch of gold buried somewhere, and nobody ever found it, it's for darn sure nobody ever will. Not with them dogs up there. Guess I'll see you later. Always a pleasure. I learned so much. <laughs> By the soundtrack later. Good news. I have information on your mystery woman. Thank you so much. Is she still alive? Her name these days is Vivian Whitmore. She lives in Las Vegas, and her number is 702-555-9137. I'm assuming that will be added to my... my call list, right? What do you know about a man named Joe Akers? Why do you ask? I understand he used to be the deputy here. So? According to Emily Griffin, Deputy Joe Akers was your father. And according to the journal I found, William Akers' son was named Joe. Another coincidence? All right, all right. William Akers was my grandfather. Why didn't you tell me that Seriously, before? Seriously, you're not it's good not at exactly hiding exactly something I'm proud no. of. My father spent his whole life trying to make people forget what my grandfather was and trying to make sure people who didn't know what he was never found out. I've been doing the same thing. What did William Akers do after Malone was arrested? I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me, Miss Drew. In case you've forgotten, I'm a very busy man. You're not going to talk I to me anymore? I apologize for my previous behavior. Yeah. As a park ranger, I strive to keep my personal feelings in check at all times, and that time I failed. It's my duty as a public servant to try to make it up to you. What would you like to know? Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about the gold that Malone supposedly buried on his property? As far as I know, it doesn't exist. It's just one of those rumors people want to believe, so they do. That's it? That's all I can ask you? Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Hello there. 
Did your grandfather ever find any gold on Malone's property? If he did, he never spent it. He wasn't poor when he died, but he certainly wasn't rich. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Hello there. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. <sighs> okay. So clearly, well, I'm gonna hit the phone. Okay, I was about to say that I have no idea what I need to do, but I'm gonna hit the phone. It's nice to be at least making progress and not looking for bugs. It's nice to be advancing gradually. Oh yeah, could I make calls if from a PDA? Calling, hang up right now. I got an air horn in my hand that could deafen a dinosaur and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh no, no, please. I'm not selling anything. Believe me. Is this Vivian Whitmore? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You got exactly five seconds to state your business. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. I just wanted to ask you some questions. All right. The Moon Lake Park Ranger said you might call, but you have to talk fast. An old friend of mine is flying in today from Florida. And when I say old, I mean old, as in five years older than I am. Don't bother trying to do the math, sweet stuff. You'll hurt yourself. So... That ranger fella said you found an old picture of me. This voice actress sounds like she's 20. It was of you and Mickey Malone. Do you remember him? Of course I remember him. I remember everything about that time of my life. It was the roaring 20s for crying out loud. One of the most exciting decades in American history. Just because I've got a few years on most people doesn't mean my brain's turned to tapioca, sweet stuff. I mean, she's committed, though. Very committed voice actress. Did you spend much time at his place on Moon Lake? Moon Lake? Talk about your fond memories. I had a lot of fun there. Although I wasn't anywhere near as wild as most young people were back then. But I think Mickey kind of respected me for that. I was his gal for five years. He always kept birch beer on tap at that speakeasy of his just for me. Tell me about the speakeasy. It was in the basement, right there at Moon Lake. Feds never knew about it, but everybody who was anybody on the East Coast back then, actors, musicians, bankers, politicians, they knew. You weren't big time unless you'd made at least one trip to Moon Lake Mickey's. Okay. Did this speakeasy have a secret entrance? There was a lock hidden in one of the tombstones in that little cemetery behind the house. You needed a key to unlock it, and when you did, stairs would appear that led to the speakeasy. Lock hidden in one of the tombstones in the cemetery. You need a key. Do you have any idea how to get into Malone's speakeasy from the house? I sure don't. That saloon was built using two main ingredients, concrete and secrecy. Mickey always bragged that nobody could get in unless he wanted them in, and I do believe he was right. But I'll tell you what, if you sent me that picture of me and Mickey, I'll send you my key. How will I know which tombstone to use it in? As a joke, Mickey had a tombstone made with the name of this federal agent who had it out for him inscribed on it. That's the one the key unlocks. Okay. Uh, okay. William Akers, the guy you call Willie. He wrote about looking for the gold that Malone had supposedly buried on his property at Moon Lake. Do you know anything about that? The hole in the floor gold heist. Well, I'll be darned. So it's true? He did bury gold on his property? Truth be told, 
When Mickey told me he was the one who pulled off that heist and that he'd buried 20 gold bars at Moon Lake, I didn't believe him. I thought he was making it up. See, Mickey and I were on the outs by then. I thought he was just trying to entice me to come back. But if he told Willie the same thing, maybe there's something to the story after all. Do you have any idea where he might have hidden it? Afraid not. Mickey was so secretive that the men who completed his house at Moon Lake were not only forbidden to talk about the work they'd done, but they were ordered to leave the state for good or else. But you know, I think he mentioned a map. Yes. He said he was making a treasure map in that... The dogs. Something about those dogs of his. The dogs will lead the way? He was always saying that. In fact, I'm pretty sure he had it engraved on his tombstone. Think, Viv, think. He said he was making a treasure map and that he was also having paintings done of each dog. He made it sound like one thing had something to do with the other, like he was giving me some big important clue. But I just figured he was playing games, trying to lure me back with mystery and intrigue. I told him to buzz off. Maybe I shouldn't have. Okay, so uh, clearly we need to get into the... Okay, so we gotta mail the thing. Did he say what he was going to do with the paintings? He said he was going to hang them in the speakeasy. And I'm sure that's precisely what he did. Do you know anything about the safe that's in the cellar of his house at Moon Lake? You must be talking about the wall safe. That was Willie's. By Willie, I mean William Akers, one of the guys who worked for Mickey. What can you tell me about William Akers? He was Mickey's most trusted employee. Mickey treated all his other men like dirt, but not Willie. He honestly liked mm, Willie, what a respected him, trusted him implicitly. Okay. Can you remember anything about Malone's dogs? I don't think we need to hear this one, but we're gold? going for it. I stayed away from his dogs. They made me nervous, always jumping around, barking at this or that. The only one I liked was, uh, oh, what was his name? Iggy. I liked Iggy because he was nice and quiet. He just lay on the porch all day and didn't make a peep. It's been fun talking to you. I know. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> okie dokie. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, it's, wait, is it day outside? I thought I heard night outside. Nope, I hear the daytime. Okay, so I have to mail the picture to the lady and wait for the key. Uh, once I get the key, I should be able to go into the speakeasy and Hello, then Am I in find the gold, in theory. I'd like to mail this photo to the woman in Las Vegas. Can you do that for me? As always, I'm here to serve, Miss Drew. Just give it to me and I'll take care of it. I'm sure she'll be very pleased to get this back. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Okay. Hello again, Miss Drew. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. So what do I do while I, do I just skip a couple days? I know the mail's not that fast. Thank you. Uh, you know guys, I actually think I might be done with Nance for today. I am planning on streaming tomorrow. Um, but I'm feeling pretty tired and I need to read all these donations and chat. We made a lot of progress though. We did a lot more today than we did yesterday. Yeah, it'll be Halloween. I'll probably stream more in the morning. Um, we know we didn't get any bugs. Uh, for everyone that's just watching, for Nancy, thank you so much uh, for watching. I will be back to play some more, hopefully tomorrow. Um... 
Thank you. If you want to stick around, we're going to listen to uh, jazz, and I'm going to read donations and chat about stuff. I haven't been able to chat, because I've been uh, expertly guiding us through this game. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, if you're heading out. Uh, hopefully I will see you guys next time for more Nancy, and then, um, when the CD-ROM comes in, the C my new, uh, CD-ROM drive, I may do a stream installing it. I was thinking about doing that, because why not? And then when that, once that's going, we're going to do Ripper. R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
I'm not struggling with, uh, I'm assuming that was demonetization. Not struggling with anything, with any of that. It's just not as many people watch Televoid. So, to spend the same amount of time, more, to spend more time making a, a video that's going to underperform, it just takes... You know, you gotta weigh, it's my job, so you gotta weigh, uh, do I wanna make money this month, or do I wanna waste a full month and upload something awesome? Yeah, I remember being suspicious about Televoid not performing, or not being pushed to subs correctly. But uh, I think that might just be how YouTube works now. I don't know that that it, that it was an error. But I still, I'm, I still want to make some. I still want to make some. It's just I gotta. I'm still doing moving stuff. I'm still. I have not fully moved yet. So I'm still. I still got stuff. Horror delight. Thanks for the two dollars. I made it for the game part this time. I sure hope this goes uh better. Some of the earlier Nance games have questionable gameplay. Today went okay. I think we made some good progress. I got stumped a couple times, but uh, we pulled through. Yes, okay, P.O. Box uh, should be up possibly tonight. It is, it is as of today, it is functional. I went and checked it because I sent a package there to make sure I would get it. Uh, so I have the address. I just want to make sure I do, like, guidelines. Guidelines. Video game reviews underperform. Think this is a YouTube problem and an algorithm? Or that's how the fan base grew to be? Uh, so this is all theories. We don't, I mean, we know about as much as how YouTube works as anybody else. It's just a theory, uh, but my guess is why videos underperform and whatnot is just the way subscribers work. Because su subscribing used to be much more effective. But people subscribed to so many channels that I think that's why YouTube was like, we got to figure out how to organize. Because people subscribe to hundreds and hundreds of channels. And so YouTube probably went, we need to make people more active on the videos they watch instead of getting a bunch of crap that they don't want to watch. So now it's almost like you're competing to get the attention of your subscribers now instead of just, like, guaranteed they're going to see the thumbnail or whatever. And some of that is definitely, like, YouTube being dumb... But at the same time, it's a problem I don't know how I would solve if I ran YouTube and that was the situation I was in. I don't think I would solve it how they are solving it, but I don't know what I would do. You go to the subscription feed? Yeah. See, the since the subscription feed is not default anymore, it's not as I get most of my views through the recommended feed. Most of the bulk of my views come from people clicking on the recommended feed. And that's subscribers too, because they recommend you new videos from people you're subscribed to. But what I think is, if people are coming to my food reviews and they watch a bunch of food channels and they come to my food stuff, I don't think YouTube is as eager to promote a game review or a movie review to that individual. I think they're more in unless they start engaging with that kind of content. So, just this is just my own observation, how I think it might be functioning. It's almost like each genre of video is almost its own mini channel. And you have to get people's attention to go there and engage for them to keep pushing your videos out. Hamburger. But who knows? I don't know. No, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, consider Patreon specifically funding for Televoid? No. Because I still, I want to keep Televoid, I want to make it when I want to make it. And 
right now this stuff is putting pressure on me or whatever, but if I had a Patreon for Televoid, yum, yum. Um, I would feel way too much pressure to like regularly upload episodes and for them to all be equally good. And I don't know if I could come up with ideas fast enough for that. You know, it's just... I, I need to get better at time management. If I could get better at making my current videos, if I could get faster at it somehow through like, I'm considering magic. Um, if I could conjure up something to let me work on videos faster, I could make more of different stuff. Per episode payments, no, I just don't. I don't wanna get money involved like that. I, I don't want I don't want to do anything that's gonna sack because that's my that's my baby. Televoid is like, you know, it's a big deal for me. It's my probably my most ambitious video effort, and I I just wanna I want to keep it, you know, I want to keep it pure, and I want to make it when it's fun to make and make good episodes. Loserless, thanks for the nine months. Even though I miss most streams, I sleep a lot. I'm happy to support the moose every month. Amazing content creator, enjoy that sleep. I wish I slept more. Though being awake more does, I get more work time in. I am excited to make more. And I will say that people's enthusiasm does, it's infectious. The reason I started I started writing new Televoid notes in my journal, and the reason was because people were talking to me about it, messaging, asking, hey, where's the next episode? And so I went and kind of reviewed some old episodes, and I, I got into it. I get into Televoid. I'm like, oh my god. I like this show that I make. So, we'll see. Stream is kind of ending. Who knows? I, I'm going to chat for a while, but we're not playing any more games. So unless... Unless you just want to look at this for the rest of the stream, you can, you know. Well, I'll see you next time. Yeah, I don't I don't want to rush it and ruin it. I do I would like to upload it more often. Maybe maybe that can be a goal for next year. Maybe I'll set myself a, a televoid episode goal. Because I, I definitely need to make them at least a little more often. It is an MST mug. Or rug. Uh, though I do have the mug also with me at, at all times. Because, of course. I think I'm going to put that on the wall. I think I'm going to command strip it. You may get to watch me do that. I'm still planning on getting the rest of stuff my, for my office and, and doing a setup stream. 8-bit kitty cat. Jaws boy, Jaws boy, Kitty is here. Thank you for the prime subs. Matt BC one, thank you for the two months. Waffles is a bunny. Thanks so much for the thirty months. Hey, oh moose, been trying to keep up with the vods and was finally able to get through the first Shinmu playlist. It was great background noise as I grew an addiction to House Flipper. Ooh, I love. Some house flipper and some shinmu. Good, good choices. Uh, I don't know how often I pay my nails. Not, not a, uh, not a ton. I usually don't paint them if I feel like I'm gonna go. I don't know. I'm still only marginally com comfortable being in public. With I don't know. I'm just. A, I know nobody cares, but I just. I don't know. I say that, but I just ran all these errands <laughs> and was totally fine. <laughs> uh, but not always black. I have some other ones. They're usually boring neutral colors, though. To the internet guys. Uh, yeah, they, the internet guys loved my cat suit that I was definitely wearing. Yeah, nobody will care, but I don't know. Especially being back in Texas, because I like, 
almost became someone different up in Seattle. So I'm still kind of readjusting. I'm, I'm adjusting to being comfortable being me down here. It's, it's good though. It's good though. It's going better than I thought. Frostilicus. Oh, thanks for the $20. I'm so glad I got to catch your stream finally. Don't mind if I lurk for the rest of the stream. If you're still lurking, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the Nance. The Nance. I'd love to play Red Dead 2. I don't have time to play Red Dead 2. I, w I still want to play Spider-Man. See, I haven't been like... In Texas, I, ha I haven't been directly like... Scared of, of someone. Like someone perceived me a certain way and was like, I'm going to do something about that. Um, but it happened up in Seattle a, f a few times, one particularly bad time. And I think when it happened up there, I don't know, it gave me more confidence almost. It was like, okay, crappy people are everywhere, but so are good people. And you know, most of the time it's totally fine. And you know, I want to be comfortable I don't want to be comfortable. And so... It's been something I've been trying to like move past. And spin into a positive experience. Ariel Reavers! Thank you so much for the 30 months. That is a lot of months. Buzz 77,000. No. Buzz 7788. Thank you for the bits. Mm, what a hamburger. Ginger 93. Galero. Cats. Cats back. Gabal. Cat's back cable. Cat's buck cable. Thank you for the prime subs. I appreciate the support. I'm all, I'm all right. Another reason to like, I don't know. I guess another reason personally to try and, you know, not, not worry about so much about how you want to present yourself or, or whatever is the more, the more people do it, the more normal and accepted and chill people are about it. And just some of the messages I've gotten from, from people just about, I don't know, even just being out. And, and making stuff online. People get inspired by that. And I don't know, I feel almost a little responsibility to, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm preaching the, the message that you can be a little, a little weird and that's okay. That's all right. It's fun. Queer Cryptid, thank you for the three months. Hello, Moosey. Super excited for another Nance stream. Hopefully this one is a bit less frustrating. Happy early Halloween. It did go better. I still think it went better. I don't know about braids. I didn't say I was harassed for having long hair. I said I was, I was, I was, you know, 
That's a personal story. <laughs> <coughs> Waluigi times 67, thank you for the bits. Left a joint, thank you for the 100 bits. Congrats on the puzzle. Have a C note. I don't know what puzzle that was for. The vault, maybe? I am Cracker Jack. Thank you for the three dollars. Corn dogs. I'll be watching on the VOD, but I wanted to pass along that I was very happy to hear the return of Manly Muscles on the most recent foods. Keep it up, Moose. Manly Muscles is one of my favorite things to bring back because I still love the song. It's perfect for the that mood that I want. The action man, strong man, hitting stuff mood. It's perfect. Gender is heck. Thank you for the $5. Hey, Ian, me and my wife love you so much. There's just something so wholesome about you. Today is a rough day for me as my bro died six years ago today. So you streaming tonight has really lifted my mood. Much love and hugs from Nate and Braun in the UK. Thank you so much, Nate and Braun. Um, happy I was able... I didn't do anything. Happy you were able to hang out with us. I'm glad that you chose to hang out and have a fun Nance time. I hope you're doing all right. No. My boyfriend has never expressed an interest in being in my videos, and I wouldn't allow it anyway. I don't like being out of control of what my what personal life leaks out there. Okay, I'm, I'm glad you're doing all right. Happy you're still hanging out. Slim Shazbot, thank you for the 17 months. I never know what to say in these things. Most of the time, I don't really know how to reply, so the feeling is mutual. Slay Bell Katie, thank you for the prime sub. The White Silver, thank you for the $7 and change. The Private Eye, thank you for the $6 and change. Bark. Bark. I'm still in control if I edit the video. That's... That's fair. I feel like... Nah. That's a feeling for not a stream. Pajama Robbie, thank you for the 10 months. Fuzzy Bear Fairy, thank you for the prime sub. Any news on getting a cat? Not yet. Not yet, though, I did get a Christmas decoration that has a cat on it. I want to wait for Christmas, but if I wait for Christmas, it might actually show up on the wall. Let me go show you my awesome Christmas present. Give me a second. No Moose Kigurumi, because the ones that are out there don't look good. And the one that I want, it, you can't find. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh my god, could you see both of them? <laughs> okay. So, I was up in Seattle recently because Seattle is home number two, so I, I'm gonna go back a lot. 
Uh, and my friend and I, we were, were both into old shit, so we were looking for vintage stuff, and we decided to pick out a single vintage Christmas decoration. Let me see if I can uh, plug this in first. The cable is very short. Can you see that? Did I spoil it? <laughs> Okay, this is possibly Corn dogs. the most me Christmas decoration that was out there. This is framed carpet. This is framed shag carpeting. And it's got a tree and it's got a cat down here and it lights up and sometimes the lights blink and sometimes they don't, which makes me think it might be a fire hazard, uh, but I absolutely love it. It's about twice the size I thought it was gonna be. Uh, oh, there they go. Or did it just turn off? Oh, no, they're blinking. There it goes. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh my God. Best Christmas decoration I own. It is a fire. I mean, this thing is like the back of it is uh, like cardboard and it's like a tax. This thing was absolutely handmade. But that's my framed shag carpet. I thought you might like to see before I hang it somewhere. Handmade fire hazard. It's beautiful. It is not horrible. 100% beautiful. If I die in a fire and they're like, we're not sure where this fire came from, I would, I would definitely hit them up, hit, hit up the uh, investigators and be like, well, there was this shag carpet light that he really liked. Pajama Robbie, thank you for the 10 months. Did I already do this? Fuzzy Bear Fairy, thank you for the prime sub. Uh, deja vu? You know, I actually was thinking about swapping out the lights. I'd need to uh, untack it, but I feel like these are, they're just lights sticking through a sheet of carpet. And I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to just take them out. I'm mostly considered about the, or concerned about the wiring. It looks okay, it just looks so old. It's probably fine. You know what they say about fires? They go, they go away very quickly. You just get one bucket of water. We just experienced it in Nance. One bucket of water is all it takes. Your house is burning down, it's okay. One bucket of water. Just one bucket of water. Not an electrical fire? I'm pretty sure it's just one bucket of water. I think no matter the fire, size or whatever, just one bucket of water. I think that's all you need. That's what I've heard from Nance, from Nancy Drew. Who, why would I trust Nancy Drew anyway? It took her two weeks to find 12 bugs. Anyway. Uh, unfortunately, Queer Cryptid, I can't help you with Discord because I don't understand Discord. Uh, someone else is going to have to help you with that. I think it can take some time for the Discord to show up after you link it, though. I think it can take a couple hours. Radical Mountains, thank you for the 10 months. Hey Ian, hope you're having a good day. Been having a hard month, but your content has been cheering me up. Love the new vid and I'm excited for Nancy Drew. Thanks so much, Radical Mountains. I hope your months get better in the coming months, in the coming now. I hope your months are just instantly better for no reason that just happens. Thanks for the bits, Curb Games. What would Jedi do? Thank you for the six months. Fuzzy, fuzzy Mana. Thank you for the prime sub. 
Matos Machine. Thank you for the nine months. She, she ran. Mmm. Sharon. Mmm. I sure wish there was capitalization on this one. Are you here? Sharani Abish. I'm so sorry. Uh, Sharon Ayabish? Thank you for the three months. <laughs> if you understood me. If I pronounced that anywhere close. Thanks for the bit, Skeletron. Mp. Brief Candles. Thank you for the $10. Brutal Foods is straight up gold. Please make them forever. What a hamburger. Thanks so much, Brief Candles. I'll do my best. Did I get anywhere close? They're not here anymore. I'm so sorry. Super Junior Trash, thanks for the Prime sub. OTG Marcus, thanks for the Prime sub. Old Man Ian making... Old Man Ian, you know what? Old Man Ian has a lot of old man interests, so it doesn't old man surprise me. Luz, Luzy Fee, Luzy Fee, Luzy Fee. Thanks for the $5 and change. Relaxing streams, I love them. Thank you so, so much. Maverick Buggy. Thank you for the $15. Tricks or treats? Hey, Mr. Moose, have a spooky evening this Hallow's Eve Eve. Thank you, Maverick Buggy. What a treat. Oh, wow. What a treat. Yeah, I am old man, old man. Estar, thank you for the 16 months. Hey Ian, I can't believe it's already been 16 months. I'm happy that you're finally streaming again, and I can't wait for more great content from you. Stay chill, dude. P.S. Here's a half-joking reminder to move your modem if you haven't already. I did. I moved the modem and ruined the internet. That was the chain of events that happened. Kevin Error, thank you for the 10 months. Hey Ian, tomorrow is my birthday, so a stream today is like an early present. Thanks for that. Love your streams, looking forward to what you've got planned. Happy Halloween. Yes, I did, I ruined the whole internet. It's possible that I ruined the internet for the whole neighborhood, at the very least. I'm interested to see what happens, but no matter what, what it is, I'm gonna feel directly responsible. Pip Bat, thank you for the prime sub. Young Wolf, 2,340, thank you for the five dollars. Hello, 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 hello. No, you don't have, no, you don't have to donate. Nobody has to hobble and donate. Nobody has to just sit and donate. Let's just hang out. Kilted Killer, thank you for the nine months. Published Dragon, thank you for the eight months. Cheesy Romance Novels, thank you for the Prime Sub. Snowy Cun, thank you for the Prime Sub. Making anything for Thanksgiving this year. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to go up to Seattle to catch uh, Friendsgiving with all my Seattle buds. But for Thanksgiving here, I don't know that I have any plans. My tra my Thanksgiving tradition, post moving out of my childhood home and like being on my own or whatever, my tradition has been steak, rolls, mashed potato. That's my Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, maybe I'll do that again this year. I do, I, do. I three day drive to Seattle every time. No, I fly. I drove, I drove there when I moved, and then I drove when I moved back, but I fly. Hey, I hope things get better for you, uh, shellac. 
I'm happy to help a little bit, but I hope things overall get a little bit better. No turkey. Yeah, turkey is, um... Uh... Like... Trash? You know? Whereas steak is like, it's a steak. And it's like, yeah, I want to eat that steak. I don't like, I don't like roast turkey. I like deli, like lunch meat turkey, but I don't know. Turkey is just not, I'd rather have chicken. It's like bad chicken. I like ham. I really enjoy ham on Thanksgiving. That's more traditional. Uh, but why wouldn't you just make a steak? Because it's a steak. And then you can have a steak. Makona6, thank you for subscribing. Manicophilia, thank you for the eight months. I'm not big on seafood. I think I need I need more exposure to seafood. I'm at I'm at the point in my life where I'm I'm I mean I'm not eager to try, but I should try more seafood because I should I just need to. I like popcorn shrimp. <laughs> I like fried fish, but I like fried anything. So Am I shaking the screen too much? Do you guys feel like you're on like a roller coaster? I need to, I need to figure out this, this screen situation. Trips, uh, trips, trips Usagi. Thank you for the seven months. Thanks for streaming some of my favorite games. Not a problem. I hope I don't complain too much. Well, I was thinking that I should eat more seafood in Seattle, too, but nobody ever, like, made me or, like, offered, like, hey, let's get some fish. So I never, like, chose it unless I was choosing fish and chips because that's delicious. <laughs> Miss roller coasters. I love roller coasters. Lex, I hear the dogs. Oh, I should make a note. Where's my phone? I should make a note. I've been keeping track. I've been keep keeping track like that annoying neighbor that comes by and says, I have a log of every time your fucking dogs have been barking and you, they need to cool it. That's the neighbor I am. Okay. Lex613, thank you for the 13 months. I'm so glad you're playing more Nance and happy almost Halloween. We gotta do more Nance in the future too. I gotta not wait so long to do Nance because people really enjoy it. And as frustrating as, as frustrating as it can be at times, um, I enjoy playing them as well. The characters are just, it's so easy to just get opinions about the characters and get I don't know. I, I think it's just the characters are really so they're robot movements. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. It's perfect. Oh my god. We didn't drop a single frame today. Not a frame. So that's good news. I'm not gonna do a uh, what, how do you pronounce that? Mukbang? I don't know how you actually pronounce it. His dogs, I mean, here's the thing. PBG's dogs may bark, but when they bark, they tell them to be quiet. They say, hey, don't, don't disturb the neighbors. Please be quiet. Maybe not word for word. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not asking for dogs to just never ever bark. That's not, but when they've been barking for like hours, I'm asking for someone to just say, hey, could you cool it? Hey, we got neighbors. Hey, could you cool it? That's all I want. Mort Pete 3, thank you for the two months. Sad I missed the stream, but you still rock. Sad you missed the stream too, and I take it personally. I have already played uh, Nance. 
uh, Tomboy Tron. Lana Face, Lana Face. Thank you for the 200 bits. Thanks to you, I'm now addicted to Dan Bell and his hilarious Another Dirty Room series. I have to watch Another Dirty Room like one ep- I can't marathon Another Dirty Room. It's too much for me. I can marathon Dead Mall series, but Another Dirty Room is just disgusting. I love to watch it, but I have to like pace myself. If you guys don't watch Dan Bell on YouTube, you should check him out because his videos are really good. Mort P3, thanks for the five, didn't you just? Thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> oh my God. I'm doing good not coughing, but my back is still like, I can't cough. I can't, it hurts too much. Just say, just want, Mort P3 says, just wanted to say we have matching color nails and that's awesome. Well, it's because it's the best color because it goes with everything. Well, maybe not everything. I don't want an inhaler for the cough, I just want my back to- it's like my spine. It's like every time my spine- every time I cough, it's like- I don't know. I'm just sore. And I really want those dogs to be quiet for a little bit. Live high! Thanks for the two months. Pumpy Lumpkin. I love saying your username. I'm gonna say it again. Pumpy Lumpkin. Thank you for the two months. Hey yo, two month hype. Even though I think I've actually been here longer than that. I think you have as well. I think at some point you get used to the bar. You don't though. Mm, what a hamburger. You don't. It's one thing when it's like, I got used to the sirens. Because the sirens around my old place, those were people doing their job, going to help other people out. This is a dog who has an owner that's being a little turd. I have different, to different tolerance levels for those two things. Brittany, 299, thank you for subscribing. I'm Minota, thank you for the three dollars. My mom used to always make the Texas Yum Yum for dessert. We use uh, mini chocolate chips to go on instead of sprinkles. That is awesome. That's a great idea. And she makes homemade pudding, also awesome. Uh, also, she makes homemade pudding for it. Good stuff. That's awesome, I'm Minota. A, a few people have, have said that they are familiar with the with the yum yum more than I expected. I uh, I recommend the I still recommend the yum yum to the yum 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 yum. Yet a gaudy. Thank you for the three months. Back to three months. Time to re pop. Thanks for streaming, Ian. And good to see the move went well. And the streams have begun once more. Stay awesome. What were you at before, Yetagati? I, f I forget. Because you have definitely been here longer than three months. Other flavors I'd like to try in a yum yum. Someone told me that they made it with chocolate pudding and banana pudding. And that sounds awesome. That sounds pretty good. How much do I spend on a video? Uh, most of the things, most of what I spend on a video is, is time. I'll buy the food and I'll buy a costume maybe, but mostly it's just time. Vanilla and ba banana would be pretty good too. I wonder if you could do three layers. I wonder if you could, if you could do thinner layers with like a vanilla, banana, and then chocolate. Probably, oh my God, that's so much sugar, but it'd be delicious. Okay, how much time? Yeah, how much time I spend on a video, it's all over the place. Um, Cause if you look at my, like the lengths of my videos, once, once really, once watch time became important and I started going past the 10 minute mark, 
going past the 20 minute mark, going past the 30 minute mark. It takes a lot of time. I mean, this is not a Copic pen. It's a Pigma Micron. I should stop doing that. Um, weeks, a couple, a couple weeks at the fastest usually, but you know, I promise, I promise that I work as hard as I can to get something out ASAP. I would love to upload every day, but I can't do that. I can't do it. But I appreciate, I appreciate how patient everyone is. That makes me feel good in my, this area, whatever's, whatever's there. Stabler Cake, thank you for the eight months. Hey Ian, most of the time I type too much in these things, so you're great, the end. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And Morel Mushroom, thank you for the prime sub. Did I miss anyone? Did I miss you? If I missed you, I'm incredibly sorry. I have, I have read every alert that I have in front of me. But just know, you know, if I ever miss the message for whatever reason, or if you decide to do, you know, some people like to sub or donate when I'm offline because they don't want the attention, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate, appreciate all of you guys. Uh, yum, yum. I don't know. You guys are great. And I feel like I don't say thank you enough. Harkwit, thanks for the $2. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, it is not. I wish. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be at the bottom of the ocean. That doesn't sound... No, no crispy, cr crispy crab, crispy cream, creamy crab, crus crispy crab, crispy cream, creamy. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm good. You want crispy cream now? There used to be a crispy cream around here. I think it closed. All right, everybody, I am done for today. Thanks for hanging out. A lot of you guys stuck around and uh, listened to me say dumb stuff for however long, for however long. Um, my favorite vine is still the one where the guy steals a girl's purse and she's like, help. Uh, Someone stole my purse, and the guy does a flip or something. I forget exactly. I know Vine is... When was Vine relevant? He says something about that flip, though. I'm sure it's an ancient one, because... Yeah, the backflip, though. That's the one I like. That's the Every time I think of Vine, that's the one that I think of. But that backflip, though. Okay. All right, everybody. I'm going to be back tomorrow. Uh, almost, I mean, how many times have I said that and it hasn't happened? But I'm pretty sure I'll be back tomorrow uh, to play more Nance. For those of us that aren't being too spooky tomorrow, I guess. I don't know. It'll be spooky. Thanks for watching. Have a great Halloween. Uh, have fun if you guys are doing Halloween uh, tri tricks or treats or parties or whatever. Have fun. Be safe. And I'll see you guys when I see you. I need to turn off my jazz. Thanks for watching. Bye. Goodbye. Good night. See you guys soon for more Nance. I was doing that thing where I say goodbye a hundred times again because I don't know how to do it. Bye, everybody. Oh, I have to do the good night. I can't just click in stream. Bye. <laughs> and now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon.
Good night.